Hello, this is Kate, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And today I'm using the Osho Zen tarot cards. And I just want a little bit of guidance into what the next week has in store for us. So what our, um, you know, what energies are going to be available for us to take advantage of, and what kind of challenges we're going to um, face next week, or this week. Okay, so I'm just going to pick three cards. And each card is going to represent a section of the week. Okay. So the first card I'm going to turn over is going to be Monday and Tuesday of this coming week. And we've got the Burden, which is Six of Swords in a traditional tarot deck. And the burden is all about feeling like we aren't good enough and kind of striving for happiness or striving for perfection. And another way to look at this card is it's, it's the voice of our ego. So no matter what we do, our ego is rarely happy or satisfied. And if we let our ego rule our lives and make our decisions for us, we're always going to feel stressed out and not good enough. And we'll always be kind of striving to, to be better or to achieve more or to own more things. Um, so really it's kind of the road to exhaustion and unhappiness. And I think it's come up because as we enter the week, there'll be that um, temptation to kind of give in to that little voice in the back of our head that says, you're not good enough, you can do better. Um, <laughs> and so I think it will be helpful for us just to remain aware coming into this week and kind of watch out for that little voice and just notice when it comes up for you and or even if it comes up for you but I think the key here is just to rem remain aware of this voice and it's good to be aware of it you don't have to you don't have to cut this voice out or or uh you know, um, silence this voice, but just being aware of it and being able to laugh at this um, voice. It's kind of like your, almost like your inner critic. And it's good to be able to laugh at the ego and not to take it too seriously. And I think the beginning of this week will be a really important time for us to appreciate ourselves for how we are and who we are and where we've come or how far we've come and to you know look back at our lives and realize all the the achievements we've made all the challenges we've overcome and everything that's kind of made us who we are today and just to be able to celebrate that and let yourself know that you're doing a really good job and um, just kind of fostering that feeling of satisfaction and love for yourself um, for where you are right now okay so next we've got the dream which is six of swords in a traditional tarot deck or no not six of swords six of cups so we've got two sixes so that's interesting and the dream is all about uh, having ideals or certain uh, kind of, you know, idealizations of something and having kind of a, a story that you tell yourself about how something should be. And I see this card as a warning and it's warning you not to, um, not to compare your life to your ideals. And this card specifically has to do with relationships. And if you look at this card, the, the woman in the card is kind of having this fantasy of this ideal relationship where she's, you know, has this protector and this um, kind of white knight that's sweeping in to save her. And I think a lot of us have kind of almost delusions about how a relationship should be. And then if our own relationships don't match up, we feel like we've been shortchanged and we, um, you know, this can cause a lot of misery and, and upset. So I think that as we move through our week, there's going to be um, kind of events or things that might happen that might make us more aware that how our lives are right now maybe don't match up to what our ideals are. 
And this isn't to say that you have to, you know, lower your expectations or um, settle for something that you're not happy with, but it's letting you know that your ideals aren't necessarily your personal ideals. They could be um, something that's kind of been sold to you by society, like an idea that, you know, relationships are supposed to be this way or, um, you know, life is supposed to be like this. And when in reality, it doesn't necessarily turn out that way. So I think, I, I feel like what this card is really saying is um, to get comfortable with how your life is right now. If you don't like something, you can always change it over time, but don't get sucked into, um, you know, projecting these sort of fantasy-like situations or fantasy-like relationships where uh, everything's perfect and you're taken care of. Another message I'm getting with this card is that we are the only ones who take care of ourselves. So don't, um, you don't want to put uh, too much emphasis on waiting for someone else to sweep in and rescue you and make you happy. So we're the only ones who can make ourselves happy. Um, having said that, you know, interacting with others is obviously a really important human trait and it's not that we don't want to interact with other people or help other people or accept help, but you don't want to make others responsible for your own happiness. That's what I'm trying to say, is you want to take responsibility for your own happiness and find a way to be very fulfilled, very happy, even if things aren't um, unfolding exactly as you had hoped they would or how you feel like they should unfold. Okay, and then we've got the last card is Four of Rainbows or Four of Pentacles in a traditional tarot deck. And this card is the Miser. So we've really got some <laughs> downer cards <laughs> this week. So the, <laughs> the Miser is um, all about kind of hoarding, that tendency to hoard. And when we feel like we're not getting enough or receiving enough, we, we will have that tendency to hoard things. Um, and the Miser, I think it's come up uh, to remind us or to draw attention to the fact that a lot of us might feel um, a sense of lack of abundance in our lives and when we feel this way we tend to hoard and worry about it and when we do that we're just kind of perpetuating that lack of abundance so it's just a little reminder that if this is true for you if you do feel a lack of abundance or you're worried about finances you want to shift your thoughts and you want to shift your feelings about money and about uh, abundance. So um, be, finding a way to let go of that worry and that anxiety that can sometimes surround finances and changing your thoughts about money and changing how you feel about it too on a very energetic level. So changing your vibration around money. So if it's always been... Um, you know, a sense of fear or a sense of lack, finding a way to shift your energy, which of course is easier said than done, especially if you're, you're kind of in the pattern of worrying about money. Um, and I think the deeper message of this card is to, to enjoy sharing yourself with the world. So everyone who's listening to this right now has unique gifts that you know are meant to be shared and you don't want to hold those gifts in you want to get out and share them so you know maybe meditate on it or, or brainstorm or think about what are your unique gifts and what do you feel like you've come to the world to share because everyone has at least one or two if not many different things that they want to share with others so just getting in touch with what those gifts are and finding a way to get out there and share those things so finding a way to put yourself out there and get your you know your wisdom uh, known or how, how can you share your gifts with everyone? I think that's what the, the main um, meaning of this card is. Okay, so that's been your weekly tarot card reading and my name is Kate and thank you so much for joining me.